You gonna get out or are you gonna sit in the car all day? Let me turn the radio and keep you company. Oh, you don't like the radio either? What's wrong with you? You haven't said a goddamn word since we left the doctor's office. I don't want it. I don't want another one. What? I said I don't want another one. No, no, I heard you. The what wasn't about my hearing. The what is what the fuck is going on in your head? You don't want another one? <laughs> These aren't glasses of wine that you can stop ordering when you've had too much. You don't want another one. You didn't want another one? You should have been more careful. You shouldn't have opened up your legs and let me stick it in. When you knew damn well that there was a possibility, fuck, more than a possibility, that you were gonna get another one. You didn't want it, you should have taken precautions. That's all there is to it. This isn't one of those things you can change your mind about. Because I know you like to do that. Change your mind. This isn't one of those things. You hear me? I heard you. Do you hear me? I heard you. Good. Oh, shit. It's that fuck from next door. I better go talk to him, otherwise he might think I hate him or something. Maybe I could get him to make us some food. You all right? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Give me a kiss. Hey, hey. Go inside. Put your feet up. Take it easy, okay? This won't take too long. Hey, Bobby. Hey. How are you? Good. Is she okay? Oh, yeah. We just got back from the doctor's office. Oh, bad news. No, no, no. Just the opposite. She's having another one. Really? Yep. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. That makes four. <laughs> wow. She's a baby factory. She comes from fertile stock. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't look too happy about it. Ah, uh, she's in one of her moods, you know. She gets like that from time to time. And heck, it's about to get worse. I mean, looking at a guy who's about to go through nine months of pain and suffering for a goddamn kid that's gonna put me through another 18 years. Yeah, yeah, one's enough for us. Yeah, I feel you, I feel you, but you know, we were the same way. And then she decided she wanted a second kid. So we had a second one. 
And then we thought it would be a good idea to have a third. I don't know why. Yeah, it makes sense. We just did. And it's good for her though, you know, like it keeps her busy. She's a beautiful girl. And she's good with the kids, not great, but good. Otherwise, she starts getting all kinds of crazy thoughts in her head, you know, like she wants to be a supermodel or she wants to be on one of those shows where you sing your ass off and embarrass yourself, embarrass me. <laughs> or God forbid she wants to go back to school and get her degree in biochemistry or some shit and then be working to pay that off and, you know. She's good with the kids and keeps her busy and keeps the burden off of me and that's good. I mean, she's beautiful, that's why I married her, right? <laughs> She, uh, that, and she's good with the kids, thank God, because she's not good for much else. I'm just glad she's still a beautiful girl. She's, she's pretty. Yeah, right? I mean, after four kids, one on the way, she still looks good. Yeah. That and being a good mother. I mean, she's not good for much else. Yeah, you said that. So listen, um, you think... Sue might be able to cook us some food this week, you know, take the burden off of her a little bit. I can ask her. I, I don't see why she couldn't. Yeah, thank you. You know, because she's going to be with the kids and she's going to be vomiting. She's not going to feel well and she's not really going to want to do any work around the house or cook. You know what I mean? It's. No, it makes total sense. Thanks. Sure. So you. Call us if we need anything, okay? We're just right here. Thanks. I will. Get an early start, huh? Shut the door. Why? Please? I don't want to listen to them. I'm enjoying the movie. What are they, pests? They're your kids. Deal with it. So who's gonna bring some food over later? It's not yours. What? Are you asking what because you didn't hear me or because you can't believe what I'm saying? What did you say? I said, it isn't yours. Oh, I see. You want to play games, is that it? But you know I can play. I play better than most. I'm not going to do this with you right now, Judy. It's not a game. Baby's not yours, that's all. Knock it off, Judy. You're gonna make me mad, and you know what happens when I get mad. I'm not gonna be held responsible for my actions. It's gonna be your fault, not me. You. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Take it back. I'll forgive you and forget you ever said a goddamn lie like that. I'm not lying. Stop it, Judy. Or there's no going back. I'm telling you. Could you turn the TV back on? I was enjoying the movie. What the fuck is wrong with you? Stop acting like an immature little girl and apologize to me! Do you have any idea how lucky you are? Some men would have blown up at you. They would... They would have kicked you out. They would have kicked you. They never kicked your fucking head into the wall until you said you were sorry. 
can't believe you're saying that. Hey, look at me. I'm asking you. I'm being a reasonable guy here. From a husband to a wife. All right? I'm asking you to stop acting like an immature lying fucking bitch and apologize to me. All right? Jesus. About six weeks ago, on a Tuesday, you were at work. I asked Sue to come over and watch the kids for half an hour so I could go to the grocery store and get some things for dinner without having to take them with me. So she came over and I went to go get groceries. Only I wasn't going to get groceries. I was going to meet a man. I don't ask what man it was. Don't ask how we met, it just doesn't matter. We met the way people meet. By chance. So I went over to his place and we had sex. I was there for longer than half an hour and I knew I would be. But Sue would have thought it was weird if I needed longer than that at the grocery store. But if I came back after an hour and a half and said, battery died and some helpful person gave me a jump. Well, then the milk spoiled in the sun and I had to buy it all over again. Well, she would understand that. Who can predict the unexpected and how long these things will take? So I said half an hour, but I was gone for an hour and a half. And it was the most wonderful hour and a half of my life, Randy. Not because he was good and bad. He was okay. Not even because I was away from the screaming and crying children, or you for that matter. But because I felt like, well, let me back up. Right before he put his dick in me, he took out a condom, but I told him not to worry about it. He was surprised, of course, and what guy wouldn't be. I still have to beg you to wear a condom and you still don't listen. So he gets inside of me, and I started thinking about you and the kids. And it was like I was doing something for the first time. I was getting back at you, getting back at them. Not just that, but getting back at myself for letting all this happen. And when it was done, I felt so much better. Because at least I had thrown one punch in my life. And even the next day, there was a baby inside of me. Before I started to get sick, before you suggested we go to the doctor, this was growing inside of me. Just for a moment today, I thought, maybe I won't keep it. Maybe I won't let it live. But you insisted. And I'm glad you did. Because I remembered how good it felt when that man was inside of me. And every time I feel this little thing kick, when I push it out of me, and every time I have to wipe its ass, I'll be able to remember how good it felt. Just for a moment, maybe but that'll be enough. Can you turn the TV back on, please?